as a young child, Andy Warhola, before he changed his name, visited church many times a week for very long ritual masses with his mother, Julia Warhola, who raised him in the Byzantine Catholic tradition. So it's very similar to Catholicism overall, but it's very notable for its use of repetitive icons and the praise and worship of icon imagery, which I think translates really well to the way that we've come to recognize Andy Warhol's work and some of his uses of that, of that repetition, of course, have been traced by many scholars to that, to that upbringing. Um, Byzantine Catholicism is also noted for its very kind of sensual um, ritual aspect, not just the chanting, but the use of incense. In addition to over 130 artworks, paintings, drawings, films in this exhibition, we also showcase some of the kind of more personal ephemera, whether that's his mother's prayer cards, crosses that he used in artworks, images of the Last Supper that he then transformed to large 25 foot long paintings. There's a great moment in the show where we have an, an assortment of photographs that Andy Warhol took when he went to visit the Vatican in 1980. Um, he thought he was getting a private audience, so we do have the two tickets. However, the pictures show that there was about 5,000 other people also there. Andy Warhol gets to the front of the crowd, gets to shake hands um, with John Paul II, and we see him kind of in an uncharacteristic moment of joy, smiling. Um, often we don't see that image of Andy Warhol popularly.